what is up my friends we are back albeit a little later than usual <laughs> we are here nonetheless with another wednesday comic book haul scratch that two wednesday comic book hauls one for january 30th 2019 and the other for january 2nd 2019 i know i've been saying i was going to do the january 2nd video on a saturday for quite some time now but i've been pretty busy lately so there's no time like the present if this is your first time coming through the channel, thanks a lot for stopping by. I really appreciate you giving the channel a shot. Hopefully you see some books that you like, or you just enjoy the vibe of the video overall. And if you do, please be sure to like, share with your friends, subscribe, and comment. I love hearing from each and every one of you, so definitely don't be shy. Current subscribers, you know how this goes. I appreciate all you guys and girls. <laughs> I love hearing from you each and every week, um, whether that be in the comments or in real life for those of you that I know in real life. Uh, before we get into this week's haul, or the hauls, you know, the hauls, <laughs> um, I have a really cool pop um, that I purchased yesterday at Second and Charles. While I didn't buy any comics uh, from Second and Charles, they didn't have anything that kind of caught my eye, I was able to sneak up on a pop that I uh, passed on a few weeks ago at FYE. So I need everyone to be on their best behavior uh, because we have royalty around us today so we are in the presence of royalty I should say um, <laughs> this video and that is Queen Elizabeth the second and you may say to yourself Marquise what made you pick up Queen Elizabeth the second and uh, I'll tell you <laughs> my girlfriend really really digs the royal family and um, that whole dynamic over there so I figured I'd pick this up for her because she really, really loves this stuff. So um, Queen Elizabeth is one of her favorites to follow and things like that. And she just loves the history of Queen Elizabeth and things of that nature. So I figured I would grab this pop for her. I'm pretty sure she doesn't even know it exists. She doesn't know I have it. So I'm going to surprise her with it a little bit later. Hopefully she doesn't hear me as I talk about it as she's bebopping around the house. <laughs> but here we have Queen Elizabeth the second um she loves everything about the royal family anytime there's a documentary on a story a movie all that stuff she's she's watching which usually means we're watching <laughs> so just wanted to share that really quickly before i pass it along to her and i'm really really confident that that pop is going to end up in my office <laughs> not that that's a problem it's just um i'm willing to bet a, a stack of quarters on it uh, so let's get into the hall my friends and have some fun first we're going with boom studios issue number six of colin bunn's bone parish now this is a fantastic title um i don't run into many people who say anything negative about this title i think people pretty much really enjoy this title and i am one of those people so it's a great time it's a great read every time i get to that last page i just wish there was more because i don't want it to end which is a sign of a good book. Um, it, it leaves me wanting more, which makes me buy the next issue that comes out. So really, really good title. Can't say enough good things about it. Colin Bunn is is uh, on my list right now of great writers. I seem to be reading a few of his titles right now. So he's doing a great job, and I will continue to pick up his books because he has not let me down yet. Another one of my favorites, Ice Cream Man. This is issue number nine. A little bit different than the previous issues, um, I feel. Um, it was more focused on uh, the Ice Cream Man and his cousin. More so his cousin, but it wasn't like a separate story with random people as the other uh, issues have been with just uh, with the Ice Cream Man hanging around in the background or his cousin um, in the last issue. So... Still a fun read. Can't wait to see what they're doing in issue number 10. I will definitely be picking that up as it is on my pull list and not going anywhere. So this is the A cover. I grabbed two of those. And I grabbed this awesome, awesome B cover. Really, really like that cover. And uh, I'm old enough to remember when the Ice Cream Man came around frequently. Um, just seeing this picture you know takes me back you know to those days where every day of the summer the ice cream man was riding around even 
and to fall to the point where you're like, why is the ice cream man out here? It's cold. <laughs> um, but yeah, good times, good times. I'm definitely getting old anytime I'm referring to back in my day. Man Eaters, issue number five by Image. This is the A cover. I'm really, really glad that uh, people kind of pushed me in the direction of reading Man Eaters. I originally was just getting it from my girlfriend and uh, they were, you know, piling up. So I had them. And then around issue number four, I just couldn't take it anymore. I had enough people yelling at me that I should read it, that I finally sat down and read it. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it was a really great time. Um, the story is fantastic, but the advertisements <laughs> are what really get me. Um, they look so professional. They look so genuine. And it's just, it's really fun to see them. And along with the story being great as well, uh, the advertisements are just a bonus. So we get a real kick out of those, as I'm sure many people do. I've heard from in the comments and on Instagram and things like that. People seem to enjoy the ads as well. Man eaters. Moving on to DC Vertigo. Uh, this is issue number four of Hex Wives. Really good story. I have to catch up. I did not read issue number three as of yet, but I can't wait to. Um, just, you know, a time issue at this point. Can only read so much. But um, I really enjoyed the first two issues of Hex Wives, enough so that I have to know what happens. So I'll be reading this one very, very soon. Uh, fascinating, bloody, humorous, twisted Hex Wives is like a sick bewitched on horror steroids. And that is the CW's Supernatural Ruth Connell making that statement. And I don't disagree. Scooby-Doo Team Up featuring Black Lightning. This is issue number 46, the 50th anniversary, which is really, really dope. Um, I recently read Scooby Apocalypse. Had a really good time reading that. And I read the last or latest run of Black Lightning some time ago. And I really enjoyed that story. So putting them together, I had to get it. Um, I know this doesn't have anything to do with Scooby Apocalypse, um, obviously. But, uh, you know, just reading that kind of made me want to read a little bit more Scooby-Doo. So I picked this one up and it features Black Lightning. So Scooby and the Gang with Black Lightning. The new Age of Heroes, The Terrifics, issue number 12, Meet the Dreadfuls. So this is a really cool uh, homage cover to the Beatles 1964 album, apparently. So this is a, a really cool cover just by itself, without even knowing that <laughs> I would pick up this cover. Um, it's, it's just really cool. So we have a first full team appearance in this issue, if I'm not mistaken. So that's cool as well. I have to get around to reading these. I read issue number one. I liked it, and I, I really like Jeff Lemire. So I don't know why I'm, you know, slacking on this one. But at some point, I won't be. Teen Titans Annual. I never should have trusted you, Red Hood. <laughs> there is a first appearance of a character who appeared in Teen Titans Go!, uh, so they're making their first appearance in the DC universe. I guess that's how you say that. But um, I need to catch up on Teen Titans. I really like it. I just It just got away from me. So there's so many things to read. Um, but I, I find that I'm not bored anymore. Um, I used to have times where I would just sit around the house and I'd be like, man, I'm bored. That never happens now. There's always something for me to read. And uh, interacting with people in the comments, the comments uh, get wild. <laughs> just the volume of them which is very fun but it keeps me doing something um really really fun interacting with all you guys and girls is great but um teen titans annual can't wait to see what's going on heroes in crisis this is issue number five of nine b cover really like this cover can't wait to catch up on Heroes in Crisis.
one of the hot covers of this week, and for very good reason. Batgirl 31, Art Germ. This is a super, super clean cover. I love everything about it. I've been looking forward to it for weeks. Um, somehow I just ended up with one. I don't know why I didn't grab more, but um, this copy that I have is really clean, so I'm not mad. But this is a beautiful, beautiful cover. I'm glad it's finally out, and I'm glad I finally got my hands on it. So the uh, way the buildings are in the back makes me believe she's falling from a building. So that's cool. But just a beautiful cover. Art Germ does fantastic work, as we know. And another awesome cover, I've seen this a lot on Instagram. Almost bent it up there. <laughs> Wonder Woman 63. Pretty, 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 pretty cover. Uh, this is by Shirahama. Pretty sure that's how you say that. But this is a, a great cover. I had this one added to my pull list. I did not see any of these on the shelves. Not one. So people must have knew it was coming and snatched it up. I did get to my shop a little bit later than I would have liked to. But um, that being said, um, there still weren't any on the, on the shelves. Exiles, number 12. As we move on to Marvel. Beautiful cover. Can't wait to, to read these. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be one of those things I just take a... Saturday or Sunday, start at 1 and just have fun that day, ripping through all of them. This was a pretty cool uh, issue, the Uncanny 3D X-Men number 1. With 3D glasses and all. <laughs> Why not grab that one? Um, I thought that was pretty cool. The Uncanny 3D X-Men. Black Panther versus Deadpool, issue number four. Hey T'Challa, how do you like Meow? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, this is the first appearance of Panther Pool, apparently. So I was not going to pass this one up. Um, and again, I don't know why I only grabbed one cover of this, but that's all I think I need it apparently love that cover and here's something I haven't seen um, at all on Instagram or um, at least on any of the thumbnails of anybody's videos on YouTube um, and that is Age of X-Men Alpha number one this variant this is an incentive. I'm not sure of the ratio, but um, I haven't seen many of these as of yet. And I really, really like this cover. Can't wait to read it. And I'm really looking forward to Nightcrawler. Um, so I have to add that to my poll uh, sometime soon so I don't miss it. Really, really dope cover. Glad to have that one. And that is it for the January 30th, 2019 haul. Now we can move on to the January 2nd, 2019 haul. And we're starting off with another awesome book by Cullen Bunn and Boom Studios. Issue number three of The Empty Man. Now this is a really cool story, very intriguing. Um, I can't wait to read the next issue. And it reminds me a lot of um, Maneater. There are some similarities there, I feel. So they're, they're both really cool stories. If you have the chance to check out either, um, make sure you do so. So this is, again, issue number three, The Empty Man. This is definitely more of a horror, you know, genre type of book, which I'm all into. Crowded, issue number six, the A cover by Image. I love Crowded. Crowd's a great read. Um, the concept of the story is great, so I, I look forward to this every time it comes out. And I'm all caught up, I'm happy to say, so I am patiently waiting for issue number seven. 
and here we have the B cover. Next up, another favorite, Unnatural, issue number six. This is the A cover, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful cover. I passed on the B cover this time, but um, I'm very happy with this A cover. And I'm very happy with the story. Can't wait for issue number six to come out, or issue number seven, pardon me. Another one of those things I have to read on the day of new comic book day conan the barbarian issue number one black and white i'm not passing up black and white covers whenever i can help it they are coming home with me <laughs> so this is a really clean cover um, i'm hearing good things about the story i don't know anything about conan the barbarian um, so i may have to take a leap and just check it out um, so and see what's going on but i hear pretty good things about it Pretty hefty book. It feels like an annual. Immortal Hulk, issue number 11. I only have one of these bad boys. That was all I needed. I know issue number 12 is. Um, I know it flew out of the stores. So that's good. I'm glad I have two of those. Um, but this is a cool cover. And I cannot wait to start reading this. Um, I think just because I grab a lot of things, I should have issues 1 through 11 or 1 through 12 excuse me so if I don't have them I'm pretty sure I'm only missing one or two but I'm pretty sure I do have them all so I can't wait to read this because I don't hear a bad thing from anyone about Immortal Hulk everyone has really really good things to say about this title so I definitely have to read it Infinity Wars Infinite, number one, I love this cover. Um, Adam Warlock is a character I want to learn more about. I want to get more into for some reason. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I just think he looks cool, and I kind of want to know more of his story. So I'll probably start going down that rabbit hole at some point. Um, I just love this cover. Love the, uh, the costume. I love how he's drawn. And when I saw this in the preview, I knew I had to have it. So... I'm glad to have had my cop. I'm glad to have been able to get my hands on a copy, and uh, I read it and I enjoyed the story. So I'm looking forward to more um, as things are being released. Man without fear, number one variant. This is a really cool cover. I thoroughly enjoyed uh, Daredevil on Netflix. I watched. I watched it pretty much straight through one night, and I think it was probably before I had to do a video <laughs> where I binge watched like four or five episodes and got to a video super late um, because I had to finish up uh, to see what happened. And what I will say is that Matt in that show gets destroyed <laughs> a lot of times. It's uh, it's it's crazy to watch. Um, he always he usually prevails, but people just serve him up like crazy so um just just uh just a little note there <laughs> something that i noticed watching the show but i enjoyed the majority of those shows on netflix i really liked iron fist i liked daredevil i i watched the first season of luke cage and i enjoyed that and uh i watched defenders i enjoyed that i did not watch jessica jones and i missed the second season of luke cage and i have missed the punisher but i will catch up on that um, but yeah, so Man Without Fear. Winter Soldier, issue number issue, issue number two. Cool cover. Introduction of a new character, which I believe is this young fella right here. First appearance, if I'm not mistaken. Hex Wives, number three, back to DC. Um, can't wait to catch up, like I said before, on this title. I'm enjoying it uh, per issues one and two. So 
Really excited about issue number three. Can't wait to see what happens. Injustice versus Masters of the Universe, issue number six, six issue miniseries. And I got this one for no reason other than this awesome cover. Um, I really, really like this cover, so I had to have it. Um, they're still available. It's not anything that's, um, you know, in short supply or anything like that. I see plenty of copies around, but I wanted to make sure I had a copy because I really like this cover. The wonderful Jenny Frizen making an appearance with Wonder Woman 61, this beautiful cover. I still see these out and about, you know, maybe a copy here and there, at least one for sure, um, if I was in the need of another copy, but I'm not. Um, but this is a beautiful cover. So, as always, Jenny Frizen killing it. Heroes in Crisis, issue number four of nine. Guess he wasn't fast enough, she says. <laughs> um, Batman Beyond, issue number 27. It's a beautiful cover right there. I, I really enjoy Batman Beyond. I don't read as much of it as I like to, but... Um, I enjoy the story whenever I have a time, whenever I have the time to um, kind of weave in and out of it. I really enjoyed the cartoon as a kid. The New Age of Heroes, The Terrifics, issue number 11. Next up. Batgirl, issue number 30, Rally of Terror, that's the A cover, followed by the B cover, and Joshua Middleton, beautiful. And last, but definitely not least, my friends, Mark Brooks. Hitting us with Detective Comics 995, the B cover. I really love this color, cover. I love the color. I love the artwork. Um, I just love everything about this cover. So I'm, I'm really happy to have at least one copy of this. Um, this is a beautiful cover. So not much more I can say other than that. <laughs> But uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you saw some books that you like. If you're new, please check out some older videos. I'm sure you'll have some fun there. And don't be shy. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you missed out on. All that good stuff I want to hear from you. So don't be shy at all. Um, I hope everyone was able to grab everything that they were looking for this week. And if not, I hope you find it very soon and for a great price. And with that being said, get back out there and grab those